each and every day. Boxes always pay, cause I'll take you to where the sun shines, loading you along with my crew. We'll head into space and ship any place that's cargo. Packed up nice and tight, commerce feels so right, transporting you to, to where, where the stars shine, moving you the way that I do. That's cargo. We'll always see it through, our credit will accrue, my cargo. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the round. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hey, wait. Since when do we have Hi, Jared? Everybody. Shut up. Hi, everybody. Shut up, Jared. Go away. Hi, everybody. I didn't ask for you. Hi, everybody. No. Indeed. And Tilk. Tilk. Tilk doesn't... What the fuck? There's a duck. <laughs> Who the hell brought a duck in? We always have a duck. Do we have a duck? We had a yeah. duck, I guess. Oh, well, that was an interesting intro. Yeah, was it? The same one. Not, not, not something I expected. No, I, I'm not. I haven't been listening to the intros in like forever. I mean, he's been playing it for the past five weeks now. I think. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I should listen every once in a while. <laughs> All right then. Hello there. Good Ooh. evening. Ooh. How about that patch? Might as well just get to it because that's really the the big story arc that we have for the is week. It? Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, I mean, there is no no inside Star Citizen, no Star Citizen Live. Um, we don't need really new. That's going on is going on with the okay, basically uh, what should we call it? Um, PTU patch, Ibukati. Three point two four point two, otherwise known as four point oh light. Yes, so um, let's, yes. let's start with that though, because it, immediately everybody was well. Actually, they announced it before the patch was deployed. It was like, oh, uh, guys, it'll be forty gigs more. Yep. And I was like, uh, okay. Yeah, most uh, I interpreted it the wrong way. I thought they were going to have 40 gigs more of files, but it was 40 gigs of rewritten files with more content. Yeah. Oh. So so basically you still you still got to download an extra 44 gigs, but <laughs> it doesn't take up that much extra space on your hard drive. Um it's just re redoing a lot of the existing files. Hi, Rod. Or Boy, you're upside down. I'm sure it's in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, but uh, yeah, it did scare me. I, I had to ha wipe a lot from my Star Citizen drive just to make sure there was r enough room. But it turned oh, right. out that really? I plenty of room. Yeah, yeah. You don't even have 40 gigs. Uh, well, I only have a, a, an old Optane drive. You know, yep, me too. Came, oh, that thing. Yeah. With the saber. Yeah. Oh, you have the uh, saber. It. It's a great drive. It's 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 worked well up to now. Um, yeah, I mean, well, it, it, right. It's just, only you can only put so many instances of Star Citizen on it, right? If you only had the yeah. one, you'd be fine. But no. when you put two, three, four, it doesn't. No, I can only I can only put no. two instances on mine. Um. I told the story earlier on. I already bought a two terabyte M.2 <laughs> card to replace it, right? And I just put it on top of a shelf that I have here in the room out of the way. And then I pushed something else there, forgetting that the drive was there. And it fell down the back and the whole shelf was screwed to the wall. And I'm just not looking forward to emptying the shelf, unscrewing it and then taking it out just to get to my hard drive. But I'll have to do that very soon because i have no space left on that drive like it was only like 260 gig or 40 gig to start yeah, off i remember that 
Mm. So yeah, I have to dig that out because I have been missing out on some of the the builds. So CIG, CIG, CIG. Why, why you should in, uh, include the future in the launcher that you can actually separate the builds uh, by well, path as well instead of just just being one. Well, no. I mean, you, you're they're just including extra stuff now that they can that they have to put in anyway to accommodate some of the stuff that we're getting for the um dot two um it's it's normal practice you know there's nothing wrong with it um yeah. we were gonna have to download 44 or more when freaking 4.0 comes out anyway so yeah um, yeah Especially spread it out when, baby <laughs> especially when squadron also comes out you know we're, we're gonna have to find the space anyway yeah um, but anyway I, i'm i'm the exception i have to say i'm the exception my hard drive is small anyway most people would have a terabyte drive by now or should have um but anyway this is interesting so so they say that the base code for 4.0 is in this so why don't you just simply call it four because it's not everything that's in four minus the things right. that are exclusive yeah they, Right, we we still don't have pyro. We still don't have the server meshing. We still don't have the settlements. We still don't have you know all 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 no, that you shit. They understand that, but the base code is four, so it should be called four. Well, it's it's more than it's more than just base code. The code base. That, that, um, it's it's more than that that determines a, a version change. Right, it's usually the implemented features and stuff like that. None of the features are implemented um, that are coming with 4.0. So it's it, they're fine with leaving it as is. It's just that they're saying that the reason why it's so big is because we're having to, you know, start putting stuff in uh, to the build in preparation of releasing 4.0, and some of the stuff that um, in the dot two version. You know, um, we're actually part of 4.0, right? But can be pushed out sooner. That only made sense to to do that. I mean, because we weren't supposed to get the Zeus's. We probably weren't supposed to get the uh, Atlas. Uh, well, I'll debate that. I, maybe we were supposed to get the Atlas sooner. Um, we weren't supposed to get the, the MFDs, right? All that stuff was supposed to be all part of 4.0. Um, but they said, look, this is stuff that we can roll out without having to wait for 4.0 that we can give to the users, to the, the custom, our, our um, community so that they can enjoy it now and kind of uh, get used to it. And I'll tell you right now, <laughs> I am so grateful that they are giving us the MFDs now before they give us pyro why why because they are fucking complicated buddy complicated i thought they were supposed yeah. to be easier eh, well it's yeah when we're ready to get to that point i don't know are we ready to get to that point yet <laughs> <laughs> uh but is it just the mfds what else is there so they they're giving us the new character creator, character creator uh, DNA. pieces, right? Beards. Tattoos, hairs, um, uh, studs, um, new faces to merge and stuff like that. Um, so that's pretty cool, right? I've seen a lot of wacky faces. Already seen tons of skeletal tattoos. Um, but, uh, yeah, that they, they, they're introducing that. So that's pretty cool. Um, more options for those who really want to customize their character. Although they all seem to want to customize in the same way. That's the, the, the thing that I don't, I'm like, okay, uh, I guess not, people are not as, uh, you know, unique as they, as they think they are. You mean everybody's wearing the, the, the skull tattoo? 
skull tattoos, uh, you know, uh, the same hair, all, all of that. They, they, there's very little variance um, between them. Uh, caves. I have not gone to any of the caves, um, mainly because there is a bug with this build <laughs> where they basically say um, if you land on a planet and you get out of your ship, uh, there's a very good chance you're just going to fall through the planet. Um, so, so you want to do this whole upside down ship thing, you know, very close to the ground to get out and then hopefully be able to get back into your ship without falling through the planet kind of thing. Which to me does not is not very appealing uh, gameplay, so to speak. Uh, so I have not gone out of my way to go anywhere near the surface of any planets at this point. Um, but that is uh, the caves are there. Hopefully they'll fix that with the next patch. Um, I would think the next patch will probably be Tuesday. I don't think they're gonna have one on Monday. Um, so hopefully next patch they'll have that fix so I, we, I can actually start go looking for some of this stuff. Um, what else? Annunciator panels. What? Earth status. Uh, looking at the MFT details. Yeah, this showed sure that and I see anyway. No, this was funny. Balancing updates for ships. Maximum boost speeds have been lowered for all ships. Yeah, the community seems to be losing their shit over yeah, it. Everybody's, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, how many people actually use boost all the time? I, uh, I, I don't think I've ever used have it. To. Or very rarely do I use it. Right, in combat you probably need it. Yeah. And those are the ones that are complaining about it. But most other people probably don't use boost. I use it all the time when I'm starting off. To take off? Yeah, yeah to get okay. going. Okay, yeah. that's fine. But, I mean, do you really... Particularly, particularly regarding uh, the ships like, say, the whole A or something like that, which are pretty slow. And so you need to get a, you know, a bit of extra boost to get things going. Um, the whole season, that one which would be similar. They're just slow to start. Yeah, I mean, so it this... Any boost is better than no boost, right? So if it's a little slower, eh, not, not too big of a deal. Well, I mean, if everything is slower, then it makes no difference. <laughs> exactly. It's just, you know, you're just going to, you're going to get up there just a tad bit slower than you got up there the last time. So, I mean, I understand combat that can kind of make a difference, but if everybody's boost has been reduced, then everything should still be the same. You but just slower. have to realize that you're you just have to realize that you're not going to get as far away with a boost as you did before. So plan accordingly. Alright, a lot of bug fixes and stuff. It's not fair. It's never fair. Uh they always cry. Um. Alright. So have you found the build software? Is it that buggy still? So it was um, it was pretty buggy. Um, you would get a number of server errors um, pretty frequently. They did put in a hot patch yesterday um, that kind of supposedly reduced that. Um, I didn't see that today when I was in there. Um, I still got a decent amount of servers, um, but it did kind of feel, I don't know how I can explain it. It felt like it was stable more so than the previous time. Um, but I was still getting server errors. It, really, it just felt, it just felt better is all I could say. That was just my perception. I, I wouldn't necessarily, that's the case, but um, that's the way I perceived it. Um, let's see. Oh, they have the, um, part of the goodie bag from CitizenCon in there. Oh. So they have the suit, the space suit, uh, the flight suit. The flight. Yeah, yeah. And they have uh, the, um, the rifles. 
Ah, okay. Okay. Now, the thing is, I maybe I didn't look in the right place, or maybe it doesn't exist, but I didn't find any ammo for the rifles, and the P8 ammo doesn't work for that. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm like, okay, I, I'm getting ready to take a shot, and I'm like, click, click. There's like no ammo. Click. I'm like, okay, where do and so I check my inventory? There's no ammo for it. So I go to um, Cassabas and, and like, not Cassabas, um, whatever the fuck place is on Area 18. And I go look and I see P8 ammo, but that's for the regular uh, machine gun variant, uh, mm -hmm. small machine gun variant. Um, I didn't see any other. Again, I didn't really look that hard, so it's probably on me. But as far as I know, there's no, there's no ammo for it. Yeah. I'm guessing uh, in the if, game. if there's no mag and you're going already, then there's, it's not. It's not that, yeah. yeah so cool. it, it it looks big and chunky. I'll tell you that. Um, so I can't wait till they put some ammo in in it so I can give it a shot. Uh, and I guess this, it's a civilian version, so you only yeah. get single shot, single not semi-automatic. No, no. Uh, I still find that strange, but there you go. Well, do you know the so here here's the way I look at it. CIG is trying trying to accommodate the community. Because let's face it, we have a great community, but they're a bunch of fucking whiners. Right? No, we're not. Everybody wants that P8 rifle from the game, and then they're like, it's military weapon, you're not gonna get it. Wait until Squadron 42, then we'll find ways of getting. I want the fucking right. Wine, 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 wine. So they go, okay, let's give them a goodie bag. Let's make some money off of it because <laughs> if they want to wine, yeah. all right, let's 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 charge them for it. Yep. Um, and so and then we'll we'll make it less than what you can get from the military, right? So here you got here's a civilian version where you can only. Do single shot, but you got it now. So quit your whining, boss. So they made thirty bucks. But, yeah, but to... no other gun is like this. Why this rule on this gun only, and not on any other gun? Because it's a military. It's a military gun. But we have other automatics, which would be better than this. But they're they're civilian. They're they're not military. To civilian, I guess. I don't know. Maybe again, they wanted to keep this exclusive for Squadron Forty Two. No, I, I understand. And then that, so, and then so to accommodate, going, they figured we'll just give it to them with a single shot and let them fucking just, you know, kind of be happy. I'm sorry, but I just think it's silly. It's pointless. I said well, this before. If if you, if you don't want it, you don't spend the thirty bucks. You don't have to worry about it. Well, I've already spent my thirty bucks. But why, if you don't want the gun, because you no, don't think it's well, worth it? I didn't even look at what was in. I still <laughs> spent the thirty bucks because I always back the uh, the event. That's the whole. Point. Well, there you go. You got a great gun. You got two of them. Two of them. <laughs> you got two of them. Actually, didn't they not mention that one of them is now slightly different? Uh they're um, giving it a different color scheme. Is what they're doing. Okay. Um, well, because I'll... because it looked just like the actual military variant, mm, I like that. Color. They they decided to I guess they were going to give out a special colored one for people that actually went as a premier uh, person or something uh... at the, at the Star Center. So oh, I think them. all right. So it does not. So I think they them. they basically yeah. gave them that color okay. to everybody. So oh, that they that. everybody has that color as well as the the regular package color. Oh, they don't get anything unique then. Oh, but, okay. Um, fuck them. Why should they get anything unique? Well, they spent um, two three hundred dollars on the <laughs> Fuck them. I'm sure everybody else would have paid the two three hundred bucks to go there too if it could have. Um, you know, I, I hate that kind of exclusivity shit. That's just a bunch of BS. Um, anyway. So yeah, I think I think it's just a, a color scheme. The military version will stay the military version color, and everybody else will have a civilian color, so to speak. Have I you, think. Have you tried the suit yet? Yes. So I did put on the suit. Um, so it is broken. <laughs> um, <laughs> and mm. the reason why I say it's broken is because um, 
the place where you would normally expect to find the placeholder for your gun and your med sticks and your rifle and all that stuff are mm -hmm. currently located in your right boot. Yep, that's exactly where they should be. <laughs> so everything goes to your right boot. Oh, wow. So if you're walking around with a rifle, it's kind of like sticking to your boot and in the ground and stuff like that. So that's kind of jacked up. Um, but um, at first I thought, well, you can't wear shit, right? You, you know, but uh, I found out that that's where it was finally. And then so you can wear it. Um, it's a lot lighter color than that image. It's not that dark. Did someone okay. darken that? Oh. No, COG sometimes does that with their promo well with, uh, well images. wait a minute the the files that were ripped yeah yeah shows that summer. there's multiple there's multiple colors of that suit i noticed that yes where did i see that what we have is very light color where did i see this now it's in the bloody xmls um Oh, there. Never ready. Okay. Yeah, there you go. You got slate, slate jungle, jungle, alpine, alpine, and the standard one. I'm guessing the standard one is the squadron one. So the question is, is where do, where are we going to get those? Um. Or are those going to be handed out to the different people that pay, and they all have different <laughs> color suits? <laughs> They're navy. Uh. Flight they are. Suits. They are navy. They are navy. So flight suits. maybe navy pilots will be wearing them, and you can't um, actually buy them. But still, you can, you can steal yeah, them. Kill them. Well, no, <laughs> kill the pilots. Yeah. It, it uh, yes, shady. Yeah. Yes, shady. Those are proper flight suits. Yeah. At least in appearance, and uh, they have. The, but you know, you have to look at it from the thing of. They said that we're not supposed to be able to carry weapons and all that other stuff when we go into a ship um, seat, right? So I don't know, but it is a it is a it it is a cool suit. I mean, no, you should you should uh, be able to have the midi pens and a sidearm. That that's what's normal. Yeah. So. So the midi pens are yeah they were there, but again they're in your boot. Um, and then this sidearm as well. Um, but you can put a rifle. Uh, I did test that again. It went to the boot. So we'll see after they do uh, an update. Don't know if they're going to stay in the patch for long. Um, oh, no, they did say they wanted to give it, give us the goodie back pack in no, a couple of weeks. This, so this the they, they, it will time. be part of the dot two release. Yeah. yeah. Um, I did not see the containers. There were no containers. Um, the, so, but the suits, the, oh, yeah. the suits are cool. I mean, they're, 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 they're I, I, I'm kind of torn. I like them, but I don't. I think like, eh, we'll see. Yeah, wonder, that, that would be nice, JD, you're right. If they do actually offer the benefits of uh, dealing with the G's. They have to give you some advantage like that. Because if that's the case, if it isn't the case, then why would people wear them? You know. Yep. Um, helmet yeah, is pretty cool. cool. I do like the helmet. It definitely got a different vibe to it. And that should have a far more interactive. Is that the word? No, better UI for. Well, that's where the MFDs come into place. But does the helmet not supposed to, because it's specifically for... Well, that's where the MFDs come into play. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, let's, well, what else, what else? Uh, let's talk about the, let's talk about the, the rest of the leaks, per se. We'll, we'll, you'll, we'll kind of keep it top, top level, not to give away too many things. Well, we'll give a warning if you, if you want to. Yeah, ahead. Uh, oh, the, these, these are, uh, uh, I don't think these are really like groundbreaking spoilers, but I think that's all, you know, they're, they're kind of, okay. So formation flying sounds cool. 
Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm curious. That's that's kind of like um, follow or yo um, yeah match well, movement. The... Well, I remember them talking about this. Was the Citizen Con? I think they mentioned this, um, and the crowd was definitely excited about that. Um, it's a nice thing to have, really, but I, I'm not sure how it will work exactly. Yeah, I don't um, have anybody going into um, PTU with me, so I can't. Well, I don't even think it's available. In all honesty, I haven't. Yeah, I no, haven't the, even looked. No, there's so much not available. So, but the 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 be in the files anyway. So yeah, night vision. So we know that the the scopes are out there. Um, so that's not really anything special. Yeah, I'm, okay, I'm so I'm, here I'm we go. Here. Guild. Slow down. Stop. Go back. Go, where are you going? Boring. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. No, it was boring. Go. go. Stop. <laughs> okay. Yeah, an hour and a half to kill. <laughs> Science Guild, Industrial Guild, Sports Guild. So what is Science I'm Guild? I'm assuming those are factions. Well, you expect that this will be. What's yeah, the science? No. Are they going to bring the science gameplay in finally? I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm very confused with that. Don't know. Um, um industrial that, that could be mining, mining, or, or oh. salvaging, right? Uh, yeah, that could be anything. That could be mining, salvaging, uh, cargo. I don't know. I'm guessing no. Uh, sports. I was thinking Seda Ball, but Eight of, uh, everybody uh, thought Seda Ball. Yeah. <laughs> but it might just be it might just be the racing. Racing, yeah. Uh, given I still, still that, don't that, even remember what Seda Ball is, and besides, I don't think I can even do that. And I'm not going to worry about Seda Ball at this point. But uh, the sports the sports skill could be racing, given the fact that they're actually putting in um, some racing suits. Uh, that's also part of the league. It'll make you fly so, faster. Um, only if they're red. Um, and those flight suits, I think you, I think both you and and Realm and, and we came to the conclusion that those might actually be the next subscriber flares. Yeah, there seems to be indication that it, it could be them. Yeah, there's there's four flight suits, including a <laughs> star kitten. Oh! Yeah. Okay. I can't wait. I can't wait. That's exactly how the community is going to be. You know it. Uh, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> we'll we'll lose it. Yeah. Anything starts kidding related. But I am guessing that this is going to be something similar to what they've done in the past, where it's probably a referral thing, like the the the, the, the star kitten dragonfly, for example, was a. Um, I hope it's not another one of those things where you have to get subscribers because that the star kitten thing. With the bike, I think that was that was just wrong. What was the um, bike and the t-shirt? The the bike, well, yeah, well, the t-shirt you only oh. needed one, right? Mm. But for for the for yeah. the bike, you had to get ten people to to set up account and yeah. buy. Yeah, right? I I would agree with you. At the end of this, I think I I hope they wouldn't do that again with the star kitten stuff. That's just dumb. Um, I know they want new, you know, subscribers, and they 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 want more money, but it just it just seems unfair. Um, because you know who ends up getting those things? The streamers. Those are the only yeah. ones that get it. You have to keep them happy somehow. Fuck the streamers. They're more problems than than fucking solutions for CIG, as far as I'm concerned. It's like only one or two streamers that I actually have any respect for, like Space Tomato. Do they not pull in the people? That's the whole thing. They bring in the new. They they turn the people against CIG because they're always bitching and whining like little babies. I've got tea to share about streamers, by the way. (laughs) So apparently, uh, one of my favorite shit talkers on on the Twitters, Greasy Khaleesi, highlighted a a short well actually it was a short that montoya did that salty mike did a commentary on and salty mike read montoya montoya for filth um basically cussed him out uh for what reason i don't know oh. i'm still on the hunt for that short or for that whatever 
Um, Wait, who's an idiot, though? Who, Montoya? They're all oh. idiots. The both can be at times, you know. I like them both, and there's times when they can be silly. So, you know, this this is nothing new. Mm. Um, yeah, no, it's, so, it's, it's there's some uh, silver so gloves are starting to come. Some drama. Well, no, not really. The, the drama is has been everyone is is talking nice, everyone is grinning and smiling at each other, even though they have a dagger behind their back, <laughs> uh, in their hand behind their back. Uh, but apparently, all this thin veneer of niceties and positivity is starting to starting to come down. I don't know if, if Mike recanted or apologized or what, but it he, he got he got he, he was very very pointed. So yeah, that's my uh, little tea session. So so according to Shady, Greasy the... likes to start a lot of. Uh... A lot of shit so um it was probably done uh -huh. on purpose uh, uh -huh. can we can we go back to um the leaks leaks leaky 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 so the next the next the next part of it was um the pyro um settlements so who knows we may get some updates to some of the the settlements in uh stanton um, might get another one or two. Who knows? Yeah, if they yeah, wanted to, yeah. if they wanted to test them out. Yeah, hopefully they will bring some. They, they, they say they're going to do that anyway, but we'll see. Um, that isn't in the game yet, so it's possible they yeah. might leave that at the end until later. Yeah, they might leave it for four point oh. Well, no, they might show a few things in, but um, I'm saying it, it will probably be the last thing that will go in. They'll probably make sure it's stable, and then if there's if there's signs that they they have extra space to throw them in, then they will. Well, um, well, uh, I think he's in the kitchen. Yeah, I thought I heard a kettle or something like that. I heard, yeah, I heard water running or something. I need a uh, tea. What do you want? Yeah, I figured it. Can you can you bring up that? Uh, thank you. <laughs> Go down past the pyro four outpost that we just spoke about. So, um, I, I, can we just go back to Pyro 4 for a second? Because sure. I don't think we've actually, you see, in, in, the, in the testing for Pyro, we only had 1, 2, and 3. 4, 5, and 6 were... Yeah. You're talking about the planets. The planet itself. So, this is, I think, the first information about actual settlements on Pyro 4. Um, oh, okay. We've mm. also yet to okay. see the moons of Pyro 5... And Pyro 6 itself having any settlement. So, um, yeah. Like I said, yeah. they could, th this could be them wanting to test out a couple of those. They did in show Stanton. Pyro 4 during the. No, they did yeah, show but, them, but I don't yeah, think they but, showed any settlements. Or but why are they going to put the Pyro settlements into this patch if they're not going to utilize them? Well, if. And it's test the, them, right? If it's, if it's the four, if it's oh, the base yeah, code is four. Then maybe there might be elements within it. I don't know. Yeah, they, they, I, I think they want to test one of the the settlements and put it into into here because we got a couple of pyro type settlements. Yeah. Now, right? So putting in another one isn't going to to hurt anything. It's actually it's testing, right? Yeah. yeah. Before, so. No, no, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, back to the leaks. Leaky, 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 leaky. Oh God. What? He probably closed it. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> so he's concentrating too much yeah. on his. Team. All right, uh, resource net. I'm not even gonna get into that shit. Fuck it. We'll leave well, that for another. Well, yeah, that, that's presets. a lot. But basically, but that's basically the beginning <laughs> part of um, the hell experience that is engineering, en en engineering or whatever, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. The, so that is that tractor beam. I think is the one that's supposed to go so on, put the, one on the ATLS. On the ATLS, right? Because they have a spot for it. It's just it, it right now. It says it's it right a placeholder. Here. Yeah. So, so that's the official. Um, well, uh, I'm I'm kind of worried about this because it says made specifically for the suit. Does that mean that it's not interchangeable? Correct. That's usually what they they mean. Yeah. yeah. 
So you won't be able to swap this with a, with a non attractive. Probably man. not. No. Mm. Okay, that's kind of worrying. All right. Okay, the next piece is the interesting part, right? Tractor beam box moving on other beams. Oh, is this the sharing? Yeah, okay. Don't cross the beams. Yeah. Um, this Angle. is the Ghostbuster moment. So where you have two or three other atlases moving bigger boxes. What? He ended up clicking something he wasn't supposed to click. Backed by their certified soft touch and guarantee, Grey Cat's sure grip tractor beam is um, made safe for product catalog thanks to its. Wait. Yeah, yeah. I, later we'll no, worry about that. Includes this a special basically... quick placement node to assist with the transfer of cargo. So this is transferring from one atlas to another. I'm guessing. Because it's slightly problematic at the moment when you have two beams on the same item. Uh, so obviously they might have solved this regarding the the, the atlas, since it's a, it looks like it's a fundamentally different way of doing it. Yeah. So it's just basically handing it off from one to another. Yep. Um, jump, jump drive drugs. modules. Oh, at last. So, so they're starting to put some it. some of the modules yeah. in. I mean, I actually noticed there's a couple of ships where actually the Zeus, I think, was one of them that leaked Tom video says, that was released. Excelsior. They actually, when they open up the uh, the engine hmm. or power plant or whatever, you can see there's an empty space above it where the jump drive okay. should go. So I just wanted to say this. That's been there for years. <laughs> yeah, all, all all jump drives have always had this space because CGs have anticipated this. Is the only one component that they've actually been ready for for free for a long time. You mm -hmm. can actually see on top of every jump drive or every uh, quantum drive, there are three holes where the jump drive is supposed to sit. All of them have it, so yeah, that, that's that's been there for a while now. So it looks like they're getting ready to to roll that out. Part of the engineering. A uh, shit ton of life support. Obviously, that is part of um, the engineering gameplay. I heard, mm -hmm. I have not tested it myself, um, but apparently um, venting ships is in the game right now. Now? In live? No, no. In, in the PTU. In that mm -hmm. if you open up a ship... Um, because they have the base code in, but not all of the, the game mechanics and stuff. If you open up um, uh, uh, a compartment to space, it will empty it out. I'm just too Ooh, afraid to okay. test it and die. <laughs> I must try. Okay, then that'd be easy to do. You just go so into I, the cargo I, I, section. I need I need you to come with me. We, Why, so you can, can kill me you. and your safety on the exactly. other side of the door? I'm the, yes, <laughs> I need somebody to take their helmet off. Uh, uh, and there's me going... Anyway. So as soon as you start, as soon as you start suffocating, I'll close the doors and hopefully you can get your helmet back on in time. No, I, all I do is open up my Moby glass and look at the stats. It will tell me exactly what the. the well, you see, like. that's why I need you because I didn't even think about that. You can I do like, it. Like, that works. Just take the helmet off. See if you yeah. die. <laughs> <laughs> helmet off. Got your uh, hover trolley. Apparently, they're they're still that's trying to get that play, rolled don't, out. Don't play, it's don't it's don't not. Play. It's not Good. rebuilt. I went looking for it. I have not found it. So it does not uh, currently exist or work. I will take five of them. Um, so no, we're still waiting on that to, to get no. fixed. I don't think it's there at all. It's not. I, I didn't I didn't see it anywhere. I, uh, I, so, I think that's just a legacy thing because they, they pulled it at the last minute. So um, yep. that's, yeah, I don't think it's actually in it. Um, new clothes. <laughs> Pants. All with um, gloves, jackets. I don't know what mask. the new clothes are. All with cargo capacity. The misfit jacket. It looks, you know, some of it. Misfit. If you read it, it, it actually kind of gives you some insight into what it's for and what you can do with it. But I don't, I don't really don't want to give away I too wonder, much. I wonder if that's a Halloween thing. Could be. Could be. Misfits, oh, made for open, made from open canopy racers. Oh, a grapper. Oh, gloves. It's a pair of gloves. So, gloves. so it could be for, um, for as part of the racing 
right? Because there you go. We got the, the race suits underneath it right there. Durable synthetic leather. Okay. Navoy, Navoy pants. Hmm. Oh, there's something to do racing or yeah. Halloween, maybe. I don't know. No, I think racing, you could, you know, if you wanted to do it without uh, wearing an undersuit on, like if you're on Hurston and you just want to wear regular clothes while you're racing, it's like regular racing outfit. But no so use on my tech because you freeze to death. Right, exactly. That kind of stuff. Um, so we got racing suits and helmets uh, for the different vendors. So, yes, yeah, so, so this is why we think it's the subscribers. Um, there's tree, this tree stuff, and then the star kitten. I, I guarantee you the star kitten will be something special to obtain that. Um, Origin racing helmet, Murray Cup racing flight suit. Yeah, so it's a suit and a helmet, a combination. Of, you got the Mirai, the Origin, helmet. the Murray Cup, and the star kitten. Hmm. Plus playful teal whiskers across the face plate. Whiskers. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh good god. All god. Right. All right. Um, uh, citizen kind of goodie pack. Yep. Suits. Uh, the suit is in there, and uh, the guns is in there. Both guns are in there. All right. Both are Okay. Um. Right, I'm 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 now more confused with the coloring. If that's oh, you know what? Just down. go go into the game because you are an Avocati, and you'll be able to see it firsthand in your I, inventory. I, I don't think they're oh, are they in there? Okay. I, I told I've been telling you that for the last few days. Warning, <laughs> folks. Some things are in they're there. They're both in there. All right. Okay. Uh, item uh, dispensers. I don't know what the fuck those are. Uh, printing. printing. Oh, uh, okay. So, ooh, that could be fun. Could this be something um, to do with the inventory? Items. I don't know. I, don't I mean, see. yeah. I, you put RMC in it and then it generates It means what this is. Item dispensers. Now, the, the question is, is this spaceship item dispensers? Or is this like something that you can put in your uh, hangar? Right? No, I, I think this is something to do with the inventory. Remember that the, we were supposed to get a box that comes out and all the items that you wanted, they're in this box. I didn't they also, I, isn't this, maybe this is to do with crafting, because crafting they've already mentioned recently. Yeah. And, and it's possible that you'd be able the... to put, what's well, that material, RMC stuff that you salvage, and that you could print oh, okay. uh, yes. magazines out of it. Yeah, Without but right bullets, now you can, only, you can only do that out of um, the salvaging ships mm. because uh, you can either create the containers or you have to create the the SCU containers. Um, that's saying, and that's the only way you can get. So I, oh, so what you're saying is, I I create the the gun the gun type containers. And then I can use that with the item dispenser to create items. Go on, Red. I mean, it's almost like you're describing the fabricator. I'm not saying it is one, but that's almost what you're hmm. describing it as. We don't know. I think that's the, the true thing. None of us know <laughs> what it is. What's an epoxy? All, all I know is I need it sooner rather than later. Come on, CIG. <laughs> epoxy. epoxy. That is generator. a new that is a new resource, which is going to make a lot of spaceships epoxy go. Epoxygenite. So it's wow. an accelerant. <laughs> it's like we it's fucking need. Glue. Like we fucking need accelerants. Can you imagine carrying a crate of that shit in your ship and someone shoots you? Oh my mm. god. Oh, it's an explosive. Yeah. Uh... That you can't use tractor beams to move. Or can't quantum, maybe. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, that, oh my goodness, that's going to be so much fun. Um, repair missions, we've already kind of knew. Well, 
We kind of knew about that for 4.0, um, but these might be, these could be, depending on if they wanted to release it or not, um, repair pipe, charge batteries. Okay, so this this is 4.0 shit. I don't know if they're going to put that in into um, dot two. Um, they may do it in Stanton. They could easily put that in for Stanton um, if they have the location set up. Oh, you know what? That could be why they'd have that Pyro 4 settlement in the file. They put that out somewhere in Stanton, and then they give us repair missions to go to that place to test it out before 4.0 comes out. Maybe, yeah, possible. That would be cool. I could go with that. A, lot, a lawless ship dealer. Hmm. wonder what you can buy with them. Ooh, maybe we can get those uh, Squadron Forty Two ships. Oh, the hybrid <laughs> ships, yeah, God, yeah. Like, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> that be or, great. or we can take stolen ships, take them there, sell them, right, mm -hmm. and then players can go there and buy them on the cheap. Yeah, that could be. Now, yeah. that would be fucking cool. Pirates will love that shit because it gives them more of a reason not to blow you the fuck up. Just put a bullet in your head. Yeah, cheaper ships. Everybody will be happy with that one. Uh, we already know about the customization that they're putting in. Yep. Piercing tattoos. 20 more faces and all that so discovery tours whale Ooh. are we gonna get the whales orison whale Ooh. a Jiang ghost ship Ooh. that might so, be a halloween event it might be so i just want to stress this that in squadron 42 we will be coming across an abandoned Jiang cargo ship We've seen it in the squadron videos. You know the the. the I I board. don't I I've never seen it. When when you yeah. have a chance, find that for me because I don't think I've ever seen it. You go or to a section where it's, it does lightning everywhere, and you see this in the distance. This kind of broken up, kind of large X shape vehicle. Uh, I think we're wait, the, wait a minute. Oh, uh, the one, yeah. The one, that had that all the, the one that had all the lightning going on that had the Avenger in it. I thought that was that scene where the. Uh, no, no, no. Um, this is this is the, the, the last, I think, the squadron, the last Citizen Con, I think they showed it. I don't know. I'll have to go look. I, I, I didn't. I not the, not the one with the big giant spinny thing. Maybe that might be inside no. it, but I'm not sure. Uh, I, th I th we definitely seen it on the outside though, um, and and and, and they've been shown it off slowly over the years. I, I remember seeing this kind of hologram, which kind of recreated a moment where you see somebody running away and they break up into different pieces. And, and yeah, but no, that I thought that was inside the javelin because that's no. a human that got shot, not no, not yeah, a no, that's the beginning, but you you see a part of it later on. It's. They've been teasing the Xeon ship now for years. All right. Um, but hopefully that might be it or something that they like. They already had the asset and so of this might be. It, it, it would be nice if they did great. it for Halloween. Oh, yeah. yeah, that would be great. But no, I seriously doubt they go that far. <laughs> so I, 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 don't, I mm. wouldn't understand why they would put that in there and then. <clears throat> but whatever. Well, they have the assets, so it, it should be little to no effort, they, hopefully. Yeah, but there's got to be a reason for them to put it in, right? Yeah. Um, zoo skins, yay. We kind of knew that we would get Spoilers. skins as soon Spoilers. as the ship came out. Spoilers, okay. Um, including the wonderful purple and green one. You're looking forward to that Halloween one. There you go, Relum. See the yellow one? And that has uh, red stripes on it as well. Yay. So that'll be for you. Is it? What else we got? <clears throat> 90 jumps finally get some skins. 20 bucks Ooh. each. Oh, no, only two. 25. Only... Hang a second. So as I said this before, the, the hammerhead is the most expensive with $19. Uh, 
So you think right, this 25. is 25? I don't know. <laughs> the two skins. You know what? If they got an 890, they can afford it. It's three skins. Um, no, the two. The, the silver is just, just a larger view of the silver, the small silver one. Just think about this. This is going to be more expensive than the Aurora ES. That's fine. They can afford it. It's an 890 job. <laughs> Only the whales have them. 89 so the whales can euros. afford to pay this game. 89 euros, yeah. Yeah, that's what it should be. Yep. Uh, what else we got? Anything else? No, about that's all it. of it? That's all. Oh, okay. Um, oh, all about right. Misc Fortune. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, we so. Know. We know a bit I about post, that. I posted in the, the citizen chat, the Star Citizen chat, a spoiler, where <gasps> they actually say, I, "I got it blacked out." So if you don't want to see it, you don't see it, and I got it blacked out. I will say that, based on the spoiler, I was correct in my assumption of what that is, and I mentioned it in the show last week. It's a casino. It's a casino, yeah? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's, a, it's a casino where you have to make, you have to work hard to make the money. It's a ching ching. Um, it's a soundstage. Yeah. And then based on the last line of the spoiler, it says that it could be a variant of an existing ship. So, two things. One... If it's a variant, or it, not, even if it's not a variant, do we think it's gonna we're gonna get it flight ready? Because flight ready. I no. mentioned it in my organization chat, and they said, "Well, we already have salvaging in the game and stuff like that, so there's nothing limiting them from making it a flight ready." If it's a variant, even less of a reason for it not no. to be flight ready. No, the, the the file said it was a base model. So that means that are there other variants planned? So it is the base model? It is the base model. So there could be other variants for other, maybe uh, one for um, scavenging or whatever, another one for uh, refining, who knows? Um, well, if, but it if does it's mention the word base model in, in the file. So possible that it's a variant, maybe it's a variant it's on a the expense. Well, why you give it a se separate name? It's it's expense it would be called is a missed expense fortune, you know. No, no, well, the, the, it it says quote unquote base model, so um, that means that it is a separate ship, and there prop could possibly mm -hmm. be other variants, but there's no evidence of that yet. Okay. Um, and it's a misc, so everybody's gonna bitch about the fucking cockpit. It has a separate cargo grid and a separate salvage cargo grid. Um, yep. uh, it has a cargo lift. Hey, you're spoiling it. And a, <laughs> and a salvage arm. What? One arm. Mm. So, there you go. Cats. So the question is, is Have. it going to be flight ready? Come well, Citizen Con. I wouldn't be surprised. It would be they, they, this could be the one of the the, the ships been, they have been working on. So I've been asking for this thing for for weeks. Um, we don't we don't know the size of it. If it is, we see we need a medium. It's gonna it's gonna be yeah. It's gonna be a medium to large ship. We don't know that, but that's only a problem. Well, we do know that because we, it's not going to be bigger oh, than the the reclaimer, and it's going to be much bigger than. No, there's, no, there's no indication about the size. That's the problem. It's it's going to be uh, like I mean, a medium to large ship. Is, is this ship? Do we think this ship's going to be released during Citizen Con? It we will be released during it, whether it's flight ready. Okay, is the question. if it is okay, all right. If it is. Or uh, the concept, there's hardly ever been a citizen con where it has not been a lo some sort of large ship concepted, sold, or even no, a medium ship. So it's a it's medium to large. Without, 
yeah, it's, it should be within the realm of possi strong possibility that that ship will be a medium or to large ship. One of them, I'm assuming. Since this is going to be a quote, quote, special citizen in Congress, Fucking Quarter 2 is going to be announced more or less. It wouldn't surprise me if they would have more than one medium to large concept uh, ship sale. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there's always been like, you're right, a uh, smaller medium and then small well, we're, large. We're going to have. We're going to have, if the rumors have been correct up to this point, we're going to have a Crusader starter ship. Mm -hmm. We're going to have the Fortune, which is a medium or large size salvaging ship. There should be at least one more ship. We don't so, know what that could... Well, it's the worst, worst kept secret. The Guardian. The I, think, I think that's going to be IAE. I think they're going to save that for I, but I could be mistaken. I, yeah, it could be, but uh, yeah, that that's still due. The Guardian, the Mirai ship, the medium fighter. Um, what else was there? Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, uh, Grey Cat so, Cav. Cav, yeah. So this, I wonder what CIV means. Um. But it does mention the files of a driver seat and a passenger seat, so that's why we think it's carry a whole vehicle. Sent on things. Carry all. <laughs> what combat? I don't know. Oh, could could that be the hover? The hover uh, trolley? Well, I, thing? Don't, I don't know why that would have a passenger seat. Um, oh, good. The good point. Yeah, it could be. You're right. It, it, it still could be that, but I doubt it. Um, it could be like yeah. the Rock, <laughs> the, the DS, <laughs> the Rock DS. You have the one guy that drives a little trolley around, and you get the other guy that's sitting in a in a remote seat where he Why uses his he's using he's using his tractor beam to load up the fucking hover trolley. And the guy, and the other guy is inside nice and warm and, in his uh, covered. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the other guy is outside freezing his balls off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we don't know what's the AV. You, you can you can yeah. look up that and, and make a, a guess, but we've no clue what it is. Um. Actually, I hope they reveal the the PT the PTV. The new PTV, that will be a nice surprise. Oh, uh, do you the, think they're going? They're, they're not the going to get rid of the current one, right? No, they're just updating it because it's so just old. Updating that it. Okay. Yeah. So we've seen it. They showed it off last year. They showed they, that on the UTV. Which you don't think they're going to retire it and turn it into the CAV? Um, no. That it'll be like the that'll be like the Mark II. They're just going to no. leave the the regular one uh, as is i, I doubt it maybe i, I seriously doubt it why, why would they change it it makes no difference ptv is a fine name it's all right personal transport vehicles that's all it is mach 2 mach 2 <laughs> yeah with go faster stripes in the sides yep all right so let's get to the meat of everything meat. in this freaking uh ptu build oh we don't have access to the Zeus. That we will don't? probably no. happen later. I think that'll happen next week, sometime towards the end of the week, um, is when they'll give it to us. But right now, it's all about the MFDs. Uh -oh. So, let's just say there's going to be a whole new... Um, Relum? What's how this? do we say? Hang a second. H okay. Hold the MFDs. It was about the Zeus. Yeah, we'll talk about the Zeus. <laughs> but Relum, where did you get these from? They were leaked. <laughs> no, Foxy Loxy. No. No, yeah. so, no he, he, he got it from the other guy. So, um, this came from effectively somebody within Pipeline. 
who he was very good at getting the game assets and put them in offline mode, so you can basically show it off. Um, which is now kind of silly uh, that he can do this and nobody else can. Like, you know, when we, we, we've now this is the big spoiler, and we now can see it. I think CIG just simply should just put it out there. Yeah, just give everybody it. access to it. Yeah. It's, well, it's, it's I mean, point. it's still going to get leaked no matter what, because exactly. right now, so it's, it's all we now. can do is talk about it uh, as Evocati. We can't show anything yet. We should still restrict it to only being able to talk about it and not display anything. So even if they gave us him, someone would leak images or videos mm -hmm. um, because we are not still allowed to uh, show it. Um, no, we did get it. CIG did show it off already, so it's it's not yeah. Exactly it's not like it's yeah. It's not a secret. Um, but we we've probably seen a bit more details of it, particularly how small of the rooms are in the CL compared to the ES, because there's more cargo space. Um, so there's the new MFDs there. Um, there is the more all important ball that powers everything. Yep, gun racks, yada yada yada. Yeah, an extra large gun rack where the big guns, the big guns. Um, you want a piece of me? Here's my real gun. So it's, yeah, this, this is interesting, this side hatch. So everybody was wondering, well, what's it like in the outside? And you can see. The door slides over. Yeah. Um. So something must extend out for the docking ring to, like, there must be a docking tube that sticks out. Uh, that's, that. you know, that's that's been a thing that um, has been in question for, for a while because, there, there are some ships you cannot butt those collars together, mm -hmm. right? It's like if you took the Argo, what's we we'll call it? Um, which is the one that has it? The the the, the raft. The raft, yes. Right, the raft's got it right in the front. You are not going to connect that with any fucking ship unless you got a tube. Because you get the whole cockpit that's in the way. You're going to slam into something with it. Yeah, You're not going to be able to connect. It's the same with um, the new Retaliator. The Constellation always had that issue. Um, the, the the side um, engines are, are always in the way. And, and the, the missile racks are also in the way. So you've always needed a ducking collar or something to, to extend out. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, they're they're gonna have to do something. Maybe certain ships, um, you have to have the ability to extend a collar, mm. um, to do that, and it'll probably be like a rescue ship kind of thing. Mm -hmm. All the other ships don't have that functionality, and then so you can't just like do it that way. You would just have to like open a door and and just float your ass in and depressurize and all that other crap. Yeah. But it'll be interesting to see. Um, yeah, but overall, it looks like a, a good ship. It's definitely aimed at three people. Yeah, um, I'm. I can't wait till they put it in the the PTU. I wanna, I wanna take them babies out. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. What What I find annoying about this design is that I think the stairs is oh, another gun, gun rack. Racks. Which, oh, gun racks. Um, is the staircase so it's kind of similar to uh, the, the Corsair it has the staircase here and I feel that cargo space is lost with this it could, you could have had even more stuff in it but like that can fit a full 32 SCU box lengthwise in there so My only gripe is the coloring. That's uh, what the skins are for. 
yes, that's definitely what the skins are for. I'm not a great fan of the blue and yellow stripe. It's a bit weird looking. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of the blue color. I like blue, but not, not no, on the ships did, but, for some reason. Uh, no, that skin just didn't work. I don't know why they went ahead with it. But... All right. So are we ready to talk about MFDs? MFDs. So oh, by the way, the, the, ladder, the ladder is cool. We're, we're, the, the, we're talking about this, so how the C1 is missing a, 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 a second entrance. Well, we because saw some dude eat. trying to cram as much as possible in it. And well, that's, was that, you know, that's, the, that's the thing. The, the C1 is designed to be able to walk down the center of the um, mm -hmm. the cargo area. It is not meant to be filled up with shit. And then that's why it doesn't have the exit ladder. Well, so if, C if CIG wanted to, it wanted to give them an extra entrance from a different area, then they would have turned that whole area into a cargo area. I uh, want to and, as much as possible, every single inch. You know, it's like, that's not their style. Their style is about elegance. Okay. Now not you can freaking stuffing now every you, fucking corner. You can stuff this <laughs> like a turkey and have a separate <laughs> entrance to go in. See? <laughs> Everybody wants to stuff everything to the brim. And it's like, people remember physics. You don't do this when you, you know, when you, well, yeah, we do do that I, even in real I life. But wait. You, you pay the price for it. We'll wait till um, mass and inertia probably kicks in. Oh, can't wait for that. <laughs> People it's feel it's gonna be interesting. Too heavy. Why can't it get off the ground? Why might why, why is the ground coming to be faster than it wants? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I can't wait. Oh yeah. All right. Uh all right. So let's let's Wow, that MFD. looks dirty. Uh MFDs. All right. So I expect a whole new round of salt around MFTs. No, no, why? why? Why would there be a new round? Because you have to basically relearn everything, right? People don't like to relearn shit, no. right? Um, so the MF and there is there is a ton. I haven't even looked at it yet myself. I'm scared to. There is a bunch of key bindings that were built specifically for MFDs. Um, there's like, I don't know, there's just like 20, 30 key bindings maybe for MFDs. Um, but people are going to complain about it, right? The other thing that's really this, this um, what's the word I'm looking for? This orienting is that they're not all the same. So the base design that goes in the, um, the display itself are pretty ubiquitous, right? They're all pretty much the same across all the ships. What isn't the same is where all the other shit is, right? Some ships have the speed indicators in the MFDs. Some of them have them sitting on top. Can you back that up a little bit? Oh, stop it right there. That, that, oh, go back up. Okay, so you see on that top left-hand corner, you have your speed indicators and stuff. Some of the ships have that you know, more or less in the same spot. Other ships don't even have that. They actually have like a number indicator inside one of the panels. Hmm. All right. And it's like, you got to figure out where it's at. The indicators like over here, where if you stop it, if um, go back a little bit, right? Stop. So you have your indicators in between. You see where you have atmosphere, gear, uh, GS, AF, lock, ESP, right? Those, who knows where the fuck they are on half of the ships. You got to go looking for them. Right? So it's like, even though all of the inner panels are more or less the same, 
everything else is different. <laughs> and you're like, where the fuck is this? Where the fuck is that? You know, and you got to basically relearn your entire gap. Yeah. And there's like two or three more panels than you than you had before. Um, there is no triangle. Triangle is a, a thing of the past. Uh. You, you have to use the bars now, right? So you have to lift your select how many bars you want in each of your things if it makes a difference. Um, so so that throws everything for a loop. Um, it's just it's it 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 is a whole new freaking experience. Some ships had MFD panels removed. Your F7s? Remember how you had the two panels up top? That always just yeah. kind of like hung there when the, the, the canopy opened and closed. And you're like, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> Come on, CIG, yeah, yeah. fix that, right? They fixed it. They took them away. They're gone. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, I like them. They're no. gone. You now have them. You Now you have them um, basically below. So you have the two that you can normally see. And then you got two more that are underneath. So now you have to, you you literally have to have face tracking or eye tracking to be able to see some of your MFDs. What? Because if you have to hit the F key to be able to, to, to move your eyesight to some of those, that could put you at a very big disadvantage. That that was already the case anyway, because for a lot of ships, you had additional MFDs outside of your main vision. Right, but now it's it's even it's probably even more important, and you want to have some kind of head tracking. Yeah, that to be really able to, to, especially if you're going to do combat. But yeah, it's a, it's combat. A I was going to say that because combat, you really can't. I mean, you need more than two, and usually for a lot of ships, there's only two visible. You need to. Check your self status, obviously. You need your target status, but I prefer to also have the power low, uh, yeah, the power, yeah, the power. Uh, like where you dif differentiate the power from, from one system to another mm -hmm. on, on the screen as well. So at least three is good. Yep. Now, here's the thing there's still scrolling in some of the panels. So the power panel. Um, it actually, you have to scroll left and right because there are other power things that are off to the right. So you actually see your first three main, right, right there, Sop. If you look at the, the top screen on the right, that's your, your power thing. distribution. You'll notice there is a little bar right underneath the, 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 the vertical bars. That's a, the scroll. So you have your engine, your you have your you have your power, your engine, and your shields. Then, as you go across, you're gonna have your coolers, your um, your radar, all kinds of other things on the the far right that are not visible that you have to actually scroll to the right to get to, or scroll oh. back to the left if you need to have them where they're they're at. Mm. I'm telling you, it's 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 overwhelming. <laughs> and then you got all of these buttons and things that light up, and you're like, "Can I press it? I can't. No, I can't press it." Um, uh, you know, it's like, "What does it stand for?" That kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, it's it's a totally different animal, and each ship is different. They redid the Cutlass. Uh, it, it still maintains some of its original Cutlass stuff, but they they did remove some of the MFDs and moved them into different locations. That's the Hornet. You still got the little fan. So that's, that's good. Mark II, though. Is it? Um, but yeah. they, um, they, there's definitely going to be a lot of uh, discontent um, and salt when those MFDs come out. Well, they got to get used to it. Yeah, just like anything else. But right. I will say it is a much better, it is a much better experience. I do love them. Mm -hmm. um, I just hate having to relearn all of the the mm -hmm. MFDs or the locations of the, the stuff yeah. um, for them. Now, here's here's something I discovered today, which I didn't tell we, but I kept teasing him about it. And I was like, this is so fucking cool. 
<laughs> in the Starfare, the captain's seat, you now have the MFDs available in front of you. So you can actually look at them and interact with them. Oh, so you can properly captain the ship? So you can actually properly captain the ship. There is the one station off to the right behind the captain, mm -hmm. right? So you have the, the pilot, the co-pilot, the captain's seat, and then you have another state. They also have access to all of the the MFDs as well. Isn't, isn't all that of where the, the fuel, fuel operator? Fuel station. operator's on the left-hand side, and it's not mm -hmm. working right now. Okay. I was like, motherfucker, <laughs> I want to see this thing. Here, here's Now here's the problem with the Starfare. Ready for this? Okay. If you go out the back to where the refueling station is, mm -hmm. it also has access to all of the MFDs, which is exposed to space and can be easily uh, manipulated when boarding actions are uh, done, right? Mm -hmm. Not only that, but there are four other MFDs in in other locations along that area back there so there is there are six six additional mfds on the external of the starfare <laughs> that you so, can... it's so it's easy to hack yeah okay so it's like you better have some people out there defending against borders because you do not want them getting access to those mfds and hacking them but I was like, this is so fucking cool. I was like, look at all of these MFDs. Anybody can come in here and can do all this shit. You know, I was like, oh my God. Uh, so you need to learn your ship. I went into the Cutlass. Cutlass do not have patent, do not have uh, uh, components yet. Still doesn't have components, the, the black. But it does have two locations where they have fuses. So they have started converting that ship uh, for engineering. There are two sets of fuse panels. Both are different. So they're different fuses. So you'll have to have different fuses. Um, but I did not see any components, either internal or external. Um, they do have the panels where they, they kind of should be, I think. But there's there, there's no they don't open. They don't have any access to any of that stuff. Um, so, yeah, you're start exploring. Fire extinguishers are in the ships for the most part. Did he work? Um, no, you can't. You can't get to them yet. Um, but they have started placing fire extinguishers in the ships. So, like for instance, I went into the SRV, uh, and I have a fire extinguisher in my cockpit, um, which I don't remember if I had there before or not. But I do have. Um, a fire extinguisher in there. And I will say that the Starfarer's MFDs and not the Starfarer's, the S SRV, the Argo SRV, um, MFDs and interfaces are kind of jacked up. I don't think they've finished working on those because I have duplicate indicators on both sides and they're not accurate. So, um, I think they're still working on a large majority of the ships getting them set up correctly. <clears throat> um, I obviously they have not gone through all of the ships. Do you think they're all one for for the release? I, I doubt it. Um, well, I the, all the ships that I've gone into so far, the MFDs have been converted over, right okay. to the new look and feel, right? Whether they're accurate in regard, like I said, the SRV. They have the they have the the actual displays and stuff, but it's like um, remember like in this image right here. If you stop it, you'll notice how you got those six white buttons in the middle, um, the the gear and all that other stuff. On the on the SRV, it's oh, the same fun. set of buttons duplicated on both sides. So I think they have to you know. We could fix a couple of things. They're not they're not perfect yet. You know, they may not even fix it before they release it. They may not have even noticed it, and I haven't put in a report for it. Um, but yeah, that's 
you know, you people are not probably pulling up all of the ships to go in there and check all of the MFDs. Right. Uh, to, to identify problems with them. Do you um, even have all the ships available? They probably don't. Do you know how long it would take to go through all the ships to check out all of the MFDs? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, it's a little bit of work. I mean, I've tried to hit as many as I can. Um, and I haven't really hit a whole bunch of them. I, I've gone to the ships that I use first and foremost. Or I have a kind of a plan with some of them. Um, so that's why I went into the Starfarer. That's why I went into the SRV. Um, and I was able to, to see the, the neatness. I don't think anybody else has really even considered bringing up a Starfarer. <laughs> so they're like, it's useless. <laughs> it you probably, know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. brought it up. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so fucking happy. Uh, because of all of these extra... Oh, I need to go into a freelancer. I wonder what those four consoles are going to look like. Ooh. I know what I'm doing after this show. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, a um, lot of people are going to complain a lot. Um, a lot of people are going to love it. Um, most of the complaining is going to be about having to relearn it. Um, now, to answer your question, we about the heads up displays and stuff, um, you can pin some of the MFD information to your helmet. That's where all of those yes. new controls come into place right so um i don't i i didn't bother to figure out what i can you know pin on my helmet and stuff like that but um that is that is a feature i just haven't played with it yet okay yeah that would help definitely would help that's probably why they're eager to bring out the new flight suits mm-hmm I'm, I love them. I, I, I mean, I'm really excited about them, but I'm like also it frustrated. Seems cleaner, <laughs> you know. Um, you know, there is a slight uniqueness about some of them, anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, the only the only thing I'm not too happy about is the kind of holographic parts around the screens. Um, because when it's bright behind it, you can't see them. Um, I, I don't. I don't know if I've used a ship where I've had that problem with it, and, and I don't, I don't think I've had a problem with it. That's a hole in the ground. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's you. I just be roll for this. Yeah, whatever you want to talk about. Um. Yeah, I. I it's it's. I'm looking forward to this this uh, patch. Well, it's it's kind of hilarious that it is kind of a four point oh light. Um, too much. For, do you do you think it's they're been ready for a while? Sitting on the shelf. Yeah. The features were sitting on the shelf. So. Yeah, that's probably yeah. Uh, that. Yeah, I mean, if they like I said, they're they're they they, they want to move up beyond four point oh and pyro, right? And they want uh, CitizenCon to be all about um, whatever this new stuff is that they want to present. So if they can give us the two, the dot two, and get some of the stuff out that they can, that doesn't rely on all of the other stuff, they will. So that that way they can just focus on CitizenCon and talk about the the new CitizenCon stuff. 4.0 is probably going to come out maybe with Invictus, maybe after. I mean, not Invictus, um, IAE. Um, I don't I don't know how much they, they have to continue to test the server meshing before they're willing to commit to 4.0. Because I think that's what they're probably waiting on. They were waiting on getting the, the hangers out and the cargo. They needed to get that out before they can get 4.0 out. Now that they got that out, now we have to see if they can get um, the server meshing to where it needs to be so that they can actually roll out 4.0. So we will have to see. 
19 days till citizen come. Are we excited yet? No? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, no, I was reading Shady's comment about uh, oh, the, the uh, roundup, the roadmap. Um, I don't know, Shady. I don't know. I mean, they still haven't updated the point two with any other stuff being uh, committed. Yeah, I am, I'm not expect expecting any update until after CitizenCon. This um, is going to be another one of those. Didn't they do that before? Like, they, they, they pulled the networking improvements out of a patch because it was taking way too long for it to get better. The, a lot of the features were just sitting on the shelf, like now. And so mm -hmm. they just made the whole bunch. They just pulled out the they pulled the network improvements from the patch and just released all the rest or something yeah yeah that's what i, I anticipate them doing uh i don't expect engineering to come out do until they? 4.0 there's still way too much that they have to do for the engineering um because they have to modify all the ships they said um, my biggest thing is okay so if engineering it requires components right that means every ship has to have components, which not every ship has components. There's a lot of ships, especially a lot of the older ships, don't have components. So do they put components in them or do they leave them without components and fudge it somehow? Or are the ships without components going to have an advantage? So that's... That's a that's a big uh, thing with me. It's like you're 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 toting this engineering thing, and you have to have components for it to to work properly. But if you don't put it into the ships that don't have have it now, that means you have to put it in, or it's going to have an advantage. Um, I have not heard anything about a 4.0 wipe. Um, I would agree with you, Shady. I, I would think that they would probably do a wipe for 4.0. Oh, but my stuff, my stuff, oh no. <laughs> my golden my tickets. My stuff. My thousands of different pieces of armor suit in every single color, no. Well, okay, so, <laughs> let, so let's, let's look at it. All right, let's look at it from the whiny perspective because the community is pretty whiny. Mm -hmm. Um. They're, they're not going to want to wipe, okay? So, it, what what would what would need to happen for them to have a wipe, an ex, an exploit, right? An where exploit, people yeah. have way too much money, or something's corrupt in the and one point or something's corrupt, right? Yeah. Right now, we don't have any of that. Right? If they introduce Pyro, all they're going to be introducing is a whole bunch of new factions. Now, whether or not any of the existing factions would be affected by Pyro, I don't think so. So there's no reason to do a wipe for factions. Um, there's no reason to do wipe for money or ships. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they don't need to do a wipe. I mean, uh, server code, maybe. But, I mean, maybe we don't really need a wipe. I, I really wish they would have just had a hard policy. Uh, we are going to wipe at every patch. No exceptions. I This is, this is getting tiresome. Of hearing folks, well, not you, Innovus, try to have conniving ways to keep their piles of money, their piles of crap, knowing good goddamn well that this is an alpha, so called alpha. And like, everyone knows, hold on, everyone knows that when Beta comes, hopefully Chris Roberts will, 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 will you know, hold to his nerve and say, okay, we're going to wipe. I don't care how, 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 you know, the tears and tea and the and the Reddit posts and the Spectrum posts. I don't care. We're gonna wipe. 
this is getting a little ridiculous. This is this is getting a little uh, 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 thin skin. So you know, um, it's, I will agree with ahead. you. I'm done. I will agree with you on that. However, there is an there is a, an advantage to CIG not doing wipes, and that is that they can continue to test the persistency and making sure that everything's working the way it should, um, so that they never have to worry about wipes. Right. You, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like making sure that they can actually handle the level of persistence and stuff that they need to keep um, in the system. So the longer they can keep that stuff going without having to do a wipe also mm -hmm. helps them in the short term. Before they're ready to pull the plug like on beta and say, OK, full wipe, we're going beta. Right. Um, and then uh, we we. Once we go to gold, we won't do any more wipes at all, period, kind of thing. So they have wiped the money. Um, yeah, before they did. Um, and now it's being duped. Now that there's no dupes. So yeah. so they have done that. Um, it's it's the actual stuff in your inventory which have allowed to um, go on from build to build. So but people have earned it. They haven't. You know, it's like, like, have you seen Foxy Loxy's inventory? Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he goes out there and he goes and he collects all of this shit and just builds it and builds it up and builds it up and builds it up. It's like, the, the, people are going to do that in the game proper. So them having it to where the persistency carries over is just, you know, testing uh, the game how it needs to be. Uh, because people are going to do that. They're going to have tons and tons and tons of shit. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> I'm one of them. Yeah. yeah. As I said, I have every single bloody armor, every color. Um, yeah. So. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna miss them. I know okay. it's going to happen eventually, so you, you can't get too attached. Yeah. But make sure you get your pictures before they get wiped. Yeah, I think I got most of them anyway. All it's right. just it's tiresome doing them all, though. Um, but yeah, I do expect 4.0 to be wiped. It does make sense to do it there. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm starting to think about it. You know, and maybe not. Maybe we don't need it. Well, how many? How how many? I got a random question. Sort of change of subject this um what are these what are those called armor closets armor stands uh-huh how many people think that sig should put those for sale you mean real money yeah no nope nope why not why, why all the things that 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 should be just a in-game purchase. In-game purchase. There's no no. There, there's no reason for that. That is a money grab. That is that is money grab. There's no reason for them to have True. to uh, put that in for us to buy, because everybody's going to want those. Everybody's going to want multiples of those. And you, there's no need for LTI. There's no need for you know. Uh, any of that crap is like just that, you know if your if your base gets attacked and they steal your shit just go buy more. This is a this is a time saving thing. Oh, you got to do essentially. Well, well hopefully uh, it's like a one click kind of thing. What's it, if, you know how much how much is the time worth? One dollar, two dollar, three dollar, four, five dollars, six dollars, seven dollars more. I don't. I do not or... think. Ahead, if they can charge us seven dollars for a round table with a skull on it, they can definitely charge us more <laughs> for, for our true. armor. To it's true, but I mean, <laughs> it's true, but I mean, it's like, come on, where do you draw? You got to draw the line at some place. They, you know? they like, went over that line with the table. I said this last week or the week before. I mean, <laughs> so so oh, what you're saying? I agree with you, Animus. So what I, you're I, saying I is, do. so here's the thing, right? So let's use your table as an example. I can't buy that table in game. Not yet. It is no. not in game. No. Okay. There's so, other tables. There's other tables, but it, right. So what you're saying in the Atlas, I I can't buy that in game. 
No. Right? So you're saying that I cannot put my armor up for display. How many how many sets of armors do you have, Wee? Oh god. <laughs> give me give me a give me a random number. I can't because it's far too many. I, I have basically about let's 20, say 30. I probably have ninety five percent of all armors. Well, all right, twenty, thirty, forty? Oh it's more than that. More than that. Let's use fifty. No, I'll you have fifty more. sets of armor. And you cannot put them up to display unless you have a display unit. And the only way you can get that display unit is by buying it at the store for mm. five bucks each. Yeah. Are you willing to pay that much? No. No. That's why I'm not going to display everything. You only display your best stuff. <laughs> like your subscriber that's, stuff that you're afraid to wear why, because you're going to lose. That's why I, I want it only in game. Let me just go in game. Let me. My, my, the the my, hover. The hover the infamous, table. Well, Good. Like like the infamous RSI gold suit. That's gonna be on a stand, and that's never gonna leave the stand. Great. <laughs> so that hover trolley, when they put it in the game, they originally put it that you can only buy it in game, and you didn't have to buy real money. Oh, CAG. So I, I, right. I, I think the same thing should apply with that kind of uh, item that is so that requires so no. many of them that you don't you don't pay real money with that it should CIG be just is, in game no cig is pinocchio reincarnated <laughs> they, they will lie through their well they'll say one thing and go well no we need more money here we go we'll, we'll mm -hmm. exactly. they got ships for that they I got mean, ships I, for that i mean i i think they shouldn't be greedy i i think the clause is to be literally a couple of dollars a piece literally a couple of bucks a piece seven dollars for um, a table that, that's, that's, that's that is standard. that is a massive money grab. I, that, well, that one I mean, should not. So was it? So was it? I, I agree with we. So was it that, that damn skull table? Mm. But that's a subscriber flare. So the thing is, it's because it's a subscriber flare. You may not even be able to get it in game at all. Well, period. Well, no. The the thing about subscriber flares is they eventually will be in game. Yeah. So. That, all that stuff the only things really that are not in game so, are so eventually stuff from digital packs. Uh, so eventually, those armor stands <laughs> will be in game. Why are you going to yes. pay for it with real money? Just wait till they put it in game. L L L T I, just in case. Yeah. Hey, I mean, has, has they ever stopped people <laughs> from buying stuff before in this game? Come on. <laughs> Most of the stuff that they've put up for sale in it the game. To me, Dude, has been it, worth it. This is one of the few items if, that I'm like, no. It's like, I'm sorry. If they would sell those closets, they would probably earn a million dollars if they if they do it cheaply. Ah, there is it's put a, uh, put a skull be, on, the, going like penny on the candy. on the door, and there you go. The, this sure. is this is the one time I don't agree with you guys in regards to them making money. I'm just like, no. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I we, um, um, you know, as I agree with you, I would rather they not do it, but I could definitely see them doing it. Maybe they should have like a like a, a really nice fancy one with glass and you know all kinds they of hold multiple know, suits. Something something that really you know makes it stand out. Okay, I'll pay I'll pay for that. But just yeah, the regular a, one that they a, showed in the video. It's on, a, no. it's on a carousel that turns around slowly, you know. Yeah, something <laughs> something fancy, you know. I'll pay cash for fancy, uh, not just the, yeah. that 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 little freaking block of wood in the in the corner there that they showed us. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I agree with you, Shady. Cosmetics all day. You're right. Yeah. It's gotta be fancy. Yeah. yeah, I agree. With you. It, it, it turns yeah. around slowly with lights beaming at it, and and you'll hear that that new um, Star Citizen music with with the lady singing in the background. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that I would pay for. Not mm -hmm. not the stuff that they showed us at the that video. <laughs> that should be free. So I mean, that should be in game purchase. Well, you, you hope, yeah, you hope it will be, and they won't be as greedy. They'll probably do subscriber versions of it that, you know, do glow or. Do oh, that'd be nice, like yeah. Um, they got to they got to do LGB lights, right? L uh, LRB, RGB, RGB. 
uh, LED lights flashing around it and stuff like a disco. Disco ball above it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they better sell a disco ball as well for your uh, your homestead or your your outpost. We need those lights that they use at the the showcases for the ships. We need some mm. of those so that we can, you know, put it like our favorite ship in the corner and just have lights going it off. Huh. Because I have ships that I'll put up for display, but I won't fly. Uh, yeah, I'll probably be like that. It depends how, how easy it is to replace them, though. If it's quite difficult to get some, then I won't bother. If everything has insurance, you can always replace it. Well, yes, but if it's going to take you three to four weeks to get a, a get a new one, so we don't yeah. know how how hard COG is going to be regarding that. With the insurance, yeah, apartments, mm -hmm. yeah, I would love. You know that that would be such a great thing. I mean, considering that they did um, microtech, where they had those <laughs> landing pads at the top of the buildings, where you would drop off a an item it would be nice if you had like a little apartment in one of those but you're not interested in base building yet but you just want an apartment yeah i, I can i can relate to that i understand that that's cool yeah, yeah i don't i don't need all that shit in the wilderness and worrying about someone stopping by and knocking on my door and shooting me when i open the door give me an apartment oh, that could happen there too but that's different <laughs> Yeah, I want an apartment on top of a tall building. A you got the escape. You got the one landing pad there for your your ship. That's a penthouse suite. You get you get the landing pad. Nobody else does. I wonder would they allow you to call a vehicle up on top of a tower? You mean have it delivered? Oh. Yeah. Maybe when they get NPCs in place. Hey, yeah, I'm true. getting ready to leave in five minutes. Give me, get exactly, my ship yeah. up here. Yeah. yeah. I think that should be a thing. Of course, you pay for it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for sure. There have to be a, a cost to that. Then the other alternative is you have to go down all the way down the elevator into the basement and then hop on a metro. Yeah. I think it's better if they just give us luxury ap apartments at the top of the building, you know, penthouse suite, and then you you have the, the pad all to yourself. It's not like your hangar where it's like, oh, I'll just press the button and watch it go down through everybody else's apartment <laughs> until they come back up with my ship uh, kind of thing. It's like it, you would just like land the ship there and, and it would just stay there until you take off again. Well, with the base building, I'm expecting, you know, basic stuff. You know, you, you have a bed, you have a living room, kitchen, uh, and a garage, and that's it. Or somewhere where you have your power plant. Well, it, what, a, do you say, what Shady's talking about is you're going to have to do maintenance, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you got to maintain I, that I, shit. I, well, I still think um, bases or outposts can be small and easy to maintain. They'll have to be designed for at least one person to, to look after. I don't think it'll be as bad. If you're going get, to get bigger and get more complicated, then yeah, it, it should be quite difficult to maintain on your own. Um, once it's in a high sec area, that's all I care. I'm definitely not going to build my base in a low sec area. I think you'd be far more concerned about paying taxes. I think taxes will be a thing. Yep. Yep. Start making money. Start making lots of it. But I want to retire. Yeah, that ain't happening. Ooh. So is that it? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, the the that's all that's going on right now. 
I mean, next week we'll probably be in the same rut. Um, we'll we'll have more information about 2.0. Hopefully, it'll be open to at least wave one, and people will actually be able to show stuff, take pictures, stream, all that other crap, mm -hmm. um, to get the community ready for the the pain. Um, that they are going to be experiencing. Well, if this is going to be the Citizen Con build, so I guess I said that's what three weeks, less than three weeks now. No, they want days. this. They want this out before Citizen Con. Or we could be talking about the schedule that they were they were released for Citizen Con, possibly. When, when's that? When's that supposed to be released? I don't know. Didn't didn't they release the schedule, Citizen Con, about what two weeks or a week before the event? At least uh, a week before, for sure. Oh, the yeah, actual but, schedule. Uh, yeah, usually a week anyway. Yeah, but we still yeah. got we have technically a week. three weeks. Yeah. Yeah, Nineteen days, days, eleven yeah. hours, twenty-eight minutes. Mm. Who's counting, huh? Too bad the only two, the only two people in this little group who are closest to England refuse to go for various reasons. But uh, I'm just gonna hit that and and quit that. I'm sure you can you can hear from the tone of my voice my everlasting disappointment and disdain. All right, I'm done. So I could spend what was it two three hundred dollars in the tickets. Another two, three hundred dollars on accommodation and other expenses. Or I could buy a massive vertical ship for that. A virtual ship, I should say. For that. You know, he he's he's got a point there. You know, yeah, ship that's true. He does have a point. Ship or dealing with oh. people that he doesn't want to deal with. Yeah. Well, why would ship? he want to be in the big room full of nerds? No. <laughs> okay, Jesus. Christ. Okay, whatever. Inimus himself withstood that. I know. That's why I admire but I, him. But after, but <laughs> you know, I, I did regret it. I, I mean, I would rather have stayed yeah, at home and just, better. you know, spend that money on ships yeah. than going. To, you even yelled at me for not interacting with people. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. But I didn't want to. <laughs> oh so, God. You see. We're the probably the worst examples that you should be coming across. We're you got that anti right. Yeah, we're both antisocial, so <laughs> there are plenty of you know outgoing extroverts, and y'all just ain't one. <laughs> yeah, we ain't, we're that. Not yeah, not we one ain't that. We are not them. Ah, uh, all right, fair enough. I guess. Sorry, sorry to disappoint you. Maybe one year, but yeah. Yeah, you said you've been saying that for what for over five years now. He's waiting for next year because next year it will. Th this year they're going to announce when they're going to release it, right? Which will be next year, Citizen Con, the Squadron Forty Two, and then mm -hmm. so next year is the one that he's going to want to go to because that's when we'll have, you know, Why Mark though? Hamill. Henry Cavill, you know, all the celebrities and stuff. They're going to bring them all in. Oh, all that gonna come in yeah. <laughs> Mark Hamill still around. Hell, Mark, I'm starting to get old. By the way, I, I did a little uh, looking around in Austin. And apparently, you know, they have a bigger convention center. I, I was told that's going, that, that is going, undergoing some renovations. Now, we know it's, next year it would be either Austin or Montreal. I'm sure Montreal has large uh, convention spaces. I don't. But Austin. Ooh. That's a good, yeah, you know, I was going to say, I don't think Montreal, but you know, you got a point. It is now an actual studio. Yeah, you see, I might yeah. go to Montreal. That'd be worth going, I think. That'd be, it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Um, but Austin has like a 30, over 3,000 person convention center. Other than that smaller convention center that we were we were we were in 2018, so it's possible. But I'm yeah. sort of hoping it is Montreal, simply because it's 
the well then i probably won't go because it's cold up there <laughs> oh, i don't God's i sake. don't like the cold yeah you're from florida um didn't xylo mention recently that they sold more tickets for this year's event than any other one yes yeah because mm -hmm. everybody's yeah, still good yeah no because at the rate uh, he said that within he said he posted like it's only april and we sold over three thousand tickets oh april when he posted that in april okay. yeah and apparently it was sold out but apparently they scraped together some tickets on or maybe they opened up some more space in the in the venue to sell more tickets so I don't know how many they they have left, but I, I checked the uh, the website. They're still selling those uh, extra tickets, so so mm. maybe up to four thousand people. I don't know. Oh, yeah, okay, that'd be impressive. Yeah. So I doubt they're going to go back to that old convention center that we went to in 2018 in Austin because it was only a little over like 1500 something some, something like that and i necessarily doubt they want to uh, have a step back by the people by, by by way of the amount of people uh coming so it'd be in a it it'd be in a bigger venue if it's held in austin In Austin, I will probably make an attempt to go, but if it's in Montreal, it's going to be too cold. Mm, fair enough. Nah, it'd be LA again. No. No, nah, they always they always rotate. Frankfurt. No. Yeah. LA. Is no, the, hell. They, no, they, they jump in. That. Yeah, they jump between the uh, the ocean. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. <clears throat> you just wanted to be Frankfurt because you want to go. No, but they haven't been in Frankfurt in, in a long time. I yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. But COVID, dude. <laughs> COVID. Yeah, that was 17. 2018, 20, 2017. Yeah, that's the last time. Yeah. Uh, so I yeah, mean, you're right. Yeah. Long too. Just for the beer alone. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, beer. Yeah, I I I would. Yeah, I, I would. Spend all my money and my tickets. Uh, forget about accommodation. I'll sleep in the streets just for that. Uh oh. -uh. Yeah. Uh -uh. Beer will keep you warm. Yeah. Your car. You had, you had, go, you had go to stereotypes and turn up the drunk Irishman. Jesus. <laughs> oh, when it comes to nice German beer, that, that's. that's <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. So, but I, 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 I do think actors are going to make an appearance, either real life or video. I expect Mark Hamill to do it. I think. Yeah. He's probably he probably has a similar contract that he had with um, the Wing Commander. He he got a percentage of that, and that's why he's always supporting that and and even still promoting that. Mm. He made a lot of money out of that. Um, I think he made more money out of Wing Commander than he did out of Star Wars. Really? <laughs> um. Yeah, I learned a, t a tidbit. So one of the reasons why, if we remember, they were going to do like a gala. And one of the reasons why they didn't do it is because they wanted to put that, I guess, the time and money and effort, instead of making a separate uh, gala, they wanted to plow that into the actual convention itself. I'm wondering what do they have in store? And I also learned that what's that organization that does the esports in game? Apparently, they, they got that space. That they're going to hold that that Sig was going to hold that gala, and they're going to hold a separate esports event after the convention is over. Really? Okay. Yeah. No one knew that. No. Yeah, it's they're, they're selling the, the the ticket for forty five. And I don't know if it's forty five dollars or forty five pounds, 
Uh, apparently, there's been some controversy because 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 of the VAT tax, and of course, they can't you know, they can't escape that. Um, yeah, and it has a lot of support from Sig. Matter of fact, it, uh, some game developers bought tickets, and uh, oh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I think I know. Yes, um, Atmo- it's Atmos Forts, isn't it? Atmos. Yes, Atmos Forts. You are correct. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's the only one CG really promote properly. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, would you, would y'all, would you, we hamster? I know you would probably do it in a this because it's warm. Would y'all come over for a Star Citizen Vegas event? Oh God, Vegas. Oh. Um, probably, but I doubt that they would have one. Yeah, well, there are don't I I I know people. I mean, CIG sponsored. It, I I know people who are trying to make it happen. That that's all I can probably say. It probably said too much, but I know people trying to make it happen. Yes, they are talking to Sig about it too. So we'll see. <clears throat> yeah, um, if uh. If they uh, are sponsored by CIG, or not sponsored by CIG, but if it is a CIG event, um, yeah, I don't see why I wouldn't consider it. Yeah, all right. Just yeah, just wonder. Cool things. Well, thank you very much. Hmm. Let me go to Sin City. See, Elvis impersonator. I hate gambling, by the way. Yeah, to waste the money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright. Alright. I think we can call time. Time. Um, just <laughs> yeah. quick reminder. Same bat time, same bat channel. Uh, reminder that Pirate Week ends tomorrow. Um, so get those wonderful skins while you can um what else is there i think that's it i think that alice is still for sale so they're not killing that just yet what was the other email i got no that's it did you, did you see the sneak peek it was an image straight from uh inside oh, the sneak Citizen. peek of <laughs> YouTube MFDs from the <laughs> Cutlass, I think. Yeah, this is, I think, the second time they've done this. That's the laser sneak peek. It really isn't a sneak peek. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's bad. I, I hate when COG do that. That's just pure laziness. All right, then, uh, I guess uh, we're going to go, then. I think it's time. I don't think there's anything else we can blabber on about. Okay. That's all right. Let's go. Let's go, then. Uh, Goodbye, everybody. See you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. I support the monkeys. Do you? Check out The Base, 24-7 online radio. Visit us at thebase.sc. They're professionals.